Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, Loop the Great here again with another episode of Scrap Mechanic! And I am back, guys, I am back to making some awesome Transformers. I know it's been so long, I've been waiting on the new, uh, the new engine, and it just, it still hasn't come, so this thing is, it's a little laggy. I couldn't avoid it. I wanted to make something awesome, and I did, but it's laggy. But let's go see it! Here we are, and as you can tell, for the astute among you, I've got the winter mod, yay! Because I am going to start doing some Christmas stuff, some some winter theme Christmas stuffs. Gots to do it. Oh, oh, and I remind you guys, if you like what I do here, make sure to hit that like button, share it around, let all the people know. If you're new, subscribe so you can see all kinds of things like this all the time. And I know it's been a while since I did a good Transformer, guys, but oh my god, the frames and the lag and uh, it's not its not too, too bad. All right, this is Shockwave. Now, this is the Shockwave version, um, like, what is it, Beast Hunters or something it said? I went after this. Ah, there it is. <laughs> So that's the look I was going for. Let's get to the right side here. Right there. That's the look I was going for. And I uh, I did it. Oh, this thing is amazing. And I'm using... I am using mods. I've got Grego and the new Durf slash MJM mod in here. With all the new curvy pieces. And that's the only way I could have done this. And it looks so good. Oh my god. I gotta say, it is the best looking robot mode I have ever done. I have ever seen in this gun. Oh, this gun! I love it. I love it so much. Check this out. Oh my god! Yeah, there's a lot going on in here, especially in that gun. But that's mostly lights. And, ah, oh, it's just so cool. Let's see, let's see! Alright, the seat. I am using one of the invisible seats. So it's in the back here. So I'm in there, even though uh, you can't see me. But let's zoom out a little bit. And this thing drives around, and you will notice some framage. It does drive around. It's supposed to be like a futuristic Cybertronian tank. So it's got these separated feet things <laughs> on the front and in the back. But it does drive around. It's pretty dang cool. It does have BB no tips in it. So it does have a little bit of a weirdness as far as uh, remaining flat over things. So it'll stay... It wants to stay level, even though hey, we just did a jump. Uh, and you see we kind of floated, kind of floated in the air there, but that's what the BB No Tips did. But it really, really helps this thing stand up, I'm telling you. Oh, and the frames right now. Oh, uh, yeah. This game still isn't quite perfect. Well, I haven't uh, released an official version version of the new engine yet oh i gotta put it on i gotta put it on oh there we go oh my god and it's not just my computer guys i'm telling you I'll, this will be up in the workshop load it up on your own computer and see it's just the game unfortunately the frame issues uh and all the collisions or whatever let's see what do i have in here i really don't have that much well actually i do have a lot but I have four regular bearings and 44. So I have 48 bearings total. Now, I've done more than that and not had this much issues. But I've got so many custom parts in here. And I, I guess all these parts kind of add up to being sort of heavy. I'm using mostly the medium flat blocks. Uh, this is a Grego part. And I got a lot of uh, MJM and dirt parts in here. And these things are awesome. These new wedges make me able to make the coolest looking transformer mode I have ever seen. You have ever seen. I know you want to see it. But first, what did I say about that gun? Button number two. Check this out. Oh! <laughs> And you want to notice the frames, you can hear it as well as see it. Check this out. We're not moving. I just dropped this thing off the lift, so we're good. As soon as we start moving, going forward, and the sound slows down. Listen to that. That is the game not being able to keep up 
with all the stuff that I put into this beast. But that gun is still amazeballs. Look at that. And as you can see on the bottom there, that bottom row, there's only two buttons. Number two is the gun. Number one is stand up. Check this out. Uh! Yes! Uh, we're leaning a little bit. And he still moves while in robot mode because we've still got those tires. I'm trying to show you here. On the bottom of the screen, those tires are still touching the ground. So you can still move around. I actually changed the orientation of the, uh, the spring glitches that are in here. So it still works left and right just the same. Ugh, what are you doing? It's okay. We go back. Oh, the frames. The frames. That is the one thing about this game, guys. That's why I haven't been releasing as much. Because I want to do... I want to keep on getting better and making more and more awesome things. More spectacular. But the game can't keep up. The game just can't do it. What are, what are you doing? What are you doing, Shockwave? We're going to go back down. Button one. Uh... It'll get us back flat on our feet and look at all the stuff that goes on there. And it's a little framey because... Uh, there we go. Oh, I love it. I love it. And as you can see, I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. This front area, that is where most of the controllers and switches and timers and logic aids and everything is. Because in that picture... Let me show this again. Let me hop out of here. Refresh the frames a little bit. Oh, now I can move. Oh, my God. You know what? Actually, let's put it back over here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Thank you for all the awesome people out there. Keep on doing suggestions. I am liking a lot of the suggestions. A lot of them are a little too complicated. How can you turn a square thing into... Well, I'm actually pretty good at that. But, I mean, too many, too many things going on at once makes it so... Without this game being very 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 optimized the things that you're suggesting just aren't physically possible yet and i want to i want to do them it just needs some time waiting for the game to catch up now check this out i've got us i got hidden switches everywhere the hidden switch here boop, opens this up so you can gain access to all the fiddly bits in here yeah fiddly bits <laughs> Like, oh, that's a, and all that. And these are all actually working. And there's actually a couple extra ones. There's a controller there, a controller block, and a controller block there. And then everything else is just, well, there's engines in the back and the driver's seat. And that's pretty much it. Everything else is, everything is in this one little area up front. As far as the logic and the controlling of the beast. So it's not strewn throughout. I kind of keep it centralized. Centralized. Because in that picture. Whoop. I'm going to get back in it. Bloop. Bloop. And we push number one. Frame should be a little better. Stand up. And I love how he stands up. He just whips himself right up. Because of those BB no tips in his feet. Alright. So now. In this picture. Ha ha. You can see that it's like the circuitry, the robotics or whatever are in his chest, and I wanted to keep that look. So that's what I did, and that is what is in his chest. And yes, you push number two in this mode, it also brings up the gun, and it makes the arm go up, which is some logic stuff. It doesn't happen. The That bearing set does not move when it's in tank mode. So it doesn't make something look weird or happen weird. It only happens when it's in robot mode because logic. And I love this gun. And it does fire faster. You saw when I first dropped it off the lift. It's just the frame issues. Look at this thing. That is awesome. Look at, oh, I am using lasers on the bottom row. So I've got lasers and, no, they're not perfectly in the center of those, whatever. So I've got lasers and the gun tip things from Durf which are so cool. Laser. Laser. And he does move. And the second I start moving, the frames hit even more. Uh, just gotta tap it. And he does move around. Oh, yeah. So this guy will be available in the workshop. Thank you so much for all the suggestions, guys. Keep them coming. I'm gonna keep on trying to build stuff. 
and just deal with the game as it is right now. <laughs> Shut up. Turn it off. Back down. And you can get out when he's in whoop, any kind of mode. Oh, oh, it's changing around me. All right. Oh, and like I said, secret button. You see how on this side they don't go all the way across? There's actually the button right there to make them transform. So you can make them transform when you are not in him. And look at all that happen. Ba -ba -bam. I love him. That is Shockwave, guys. Oh yeah. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you saw, make sure to hit that like button. If you really like what you saw, make sure to subscribe. Share it. Favorite. I'm not really sure what fa I keep on saying favorite. I don't even know what favorite means when you're on YouTube, but share it. <laughs> Let all the peoples know this awesome little guy here. And he is relatively small compared to my other stuff. But there is a lot packed into him. And I can barely move because of the frames. Oh, the frames! Game just can't keep up, guys. Game just can't keep up! Alright, guys. Have a good day. Have a good night. Oh, we're turning this down on. I love you, and Goodbye! Oh, oh. Switch is right there. <laughs> this is my gun. I love my gun. It's awesome. It's all mine. Bye, guys!